Hi, my name is Graham Fraser. I'm a hematologist at the Jurevinsky Cancer Centre. And uh, I'm here in Toronto at the winter update of the CARE meeting, uh, highlighting uh, updates from ASH. And I just participated in a working group uh, with colleagues uh, from the community and academic centres, uh, Dr. Philip Curavilla, Dr. John Curavilla, and Dr. Anka Prika. Um, discussing some of the uh, highlights uh, of ASH, uh, particularly focusing on CLL as well as uh, some of the challenges we face uh, in the clinic um, uh, in terms of uh, access to uh, uh, novel agents, access to prognostic marker te testing and where the key priorities are for uh, Ontario patients and, uh, and clinicians. Um, so, uh, just to s summarize some of that, we briefly um, reviewed some of the exciting data from ASH. Um, that included a, a, a review of some of the uh, very interesting uh, early phase clinical trials evaluating uh, novel drug combinations. And although these aren't ready for incorporation to cl into clinical practice, some of these combinations, including venetoclax and abrutinib and venetoclax and obinutuzumab, um, are certainly uh, uh, poised now to be moved into uh, frontline and relapsed um, phase three clinical trials, uh, looking at evaluating combination therapy administered in a time-limited way to try and reduce uh, the risks for long-term toxicities and reduce some of the costs associated with these drugs, and also aiming to incorporate uh, MRD testing uh, as a potential uh, useful endpoint to guide uh, the duration of therapy and to better understand some of the long term outcomes uh, for patients based upon uh, MRD negativity. Uh, we also reviewed the, uh, the data from the Murano trial, a randomized trial evaluating venetoclax and rituximab versus bendamustine and rituximab, um, showing for the first time that a chemo-free regimen uh, in the relapsed refractory setting is associated with an improvement in uh, both overall response rates, MRD negativity rates, progression-free and overall survival compared to an effective uh, uh, standard chemoimmunotherapeutic regimen of bendamustine and rituximab. And so uh, this uh, uh, results of this trial really do provide now another standard treatment option for patients in the relapsed refractory setting. Um, we also reviewed uh, the potential impact of um, prognostic marker testing and MRD testing uh, as it relates to clinical practice currently. I think the consensus of the, of the working group was that MRD testing is probably not ready yet for prime time clinical decision making, but certainly given the direction of future trials and the anticipation that MRD um, negativity or, or, or at least MRD endpoints um, are going to be routinely incorporated into clinical trials and may become clinically relevant uh, that uh, establishing some of these assays uh, in, our, in our laboratories is, a re is, is certainly reasonable in terms of preparing for the potential that, uh, that this testing will become clinically relevant. Um, we also spent a lot of time talking about access to prognostic markers, which um, we really felt is a current gap uh, in Ontario. Um, most uh, centers do not have uh, routine access to p53 mutational testing, and it's only very recently that there's been access to immunoglobulin heavy chain gene uh, testing, uh, and that really is through a um, grant from Janssen, who has been um, allowing us to uh, get that information uh, through a lab uh, through the lab in um, in Montreal. Um, so I think that uh, something for uh, probably that needs to be focused on is a pan-provincial strategy for uh, routine access to prognostic markers that are likely to be important for clinical decision making. And now that we have funding for frontline abrutinib in uh, unfit or elderly patients um, uh, who have these high-risk markers, it seems uh, you know, logical and important that there, be, um, that there be access to this and that it be done in a sustainable way through the cancer system uh, rather than um, in an ad hoc way through support from a pharmaceutical company, which we're, although we're grateful for, um, I think uh, it, would be, uh, it would be great to have a clear strategy for all of uh, uh, the centers to have access. So I think that uh, sort of summarizes our uh, deliberations. It was uh, certainly a lively meeting um, and uh, useful to get input from uh, colleagues in, uh, in both academic and community centers.